G'day everyone, my name is Dave and I wondered, do you have anyone in your life who just Oh, get you so mad. Someone who is so different from you that they just get under your skin. Well, for me, that person is Bob Goff. I'm just kidding. Bob Goff is awesome. In fact, if I was a Harry Potter character, I'm sure Bob Goff would be my Patronus. I've actually had the chance to meet Bob a couple of times now, and he's told me a lot about loving and accepting people who are different from us. So that is what we're talking about today. Well, if this is your first time on my channel, this is the place where I like to do short two minute devotions every Tuesday that help you take a practical step in your spiritual journey. So why don't you hit the subscribe button right here so that you never miss an episode. So how do we accept people who are different from us? Well, let's put two minutes up on the clock and get straight into it. You know, whenever I've gone to places like Times Square in New York or Bourbon Street in New Orleans, I'm always surprised by the number of people holding up signs warning passers-by that they're going to hell or asking them if they know where they're going to spend eternity. Now, I may have missed this part of the Bible, but I don't remember Jesus ever scaring people into following him. So it's kind of interesting that people who say they follow Jesus so often seem like they just want to argue with people who we disagree with. I mean, why do we do that? Which is why one of the most important things I've learned from Bob Goff is the way we treat people we disagree with the most is a report card on our faith. In case you missed it, let me just quote Bob again. The way we treat people we disagree with the most is a report card on our faith. I mean, that's like... <laughs> And it's also like Bob's point is that Jesus welcomed unchurched people. He spent time with those who were far away from God and he loved them. He was like the forgiving father welcoming home the prodigal. There's a reason why one of his followers named John said Jesus came full of grace and truth. Now notice that grace comes first in that description. But too often us Christians can skip over grace in our rush to get to what we deem as being truth. And Christian author Beth Moore says that we do that because being right is Christian crack. <laughs> I love that saying. So how do we accept people who are different from us? Well, I think it starts with us setting out to make a difference instead of a point. Or as Bob Goff would say, stop trying to fix people and just be with them. So that leads us to the question of the day. Are you ready to show more compassion than condemnation this week? Well, if this video was helpful for you, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and hit the bell icon as well so you get notified whenever I post. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next Tuesday.